Yeah, me said them days ago, my life be like yo. Never look in a year, they bark out, they ain't taken a year for you. They feel singing and under, so can stow up by my side, oh, why? So to turn up for the four, me or the other baby. For them, hey, yard is yard is. Don't be your bother on it, oh. Men do a fat or valley. But they are legged on me, So welcome back to another vlog. Welcome back to episode one of Vlogtober. I've never really done this before, but I felt like I should just participate this year, mainly because I feel like I owe you guys some vlogs because I've been away for a few weeks, but that's also because I was just a bit demotivated to actually vlog for you guys. But yeah, I am back and I am participating in Vlogtober this year. So I hope you guys are really gonna show me some love and I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy this. So yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Homozo Ramano, for those of you who don't know me. If you're new here, hi or welcome. Do click that subscribe button down below to become a part of this family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continuous support. I really do appreciate yeah. it. It is currently the 29th of September. So I thought, let me just start this um, vlog here so that it's ready for episode two or three. I don't know so that it's ready for vlogtober um, i'm gonna try my best to be like up to date but i think i'm gonna be posting on wednesdays um fridays as well as sundays so if i don't actually post on those days please forgive me guys i'm a mom i'm a wife i am a healthcare worker i'm a content creator i'm a youtuber there's so much going on but i'm gonna try my best so mostly you're going to see me cooking cleaning taking care of the kids basically running a household i know that can get boring but i'm gonna try my best to just incorporate some stuff in it so that you guys are not too bored but please forgive me if you feel like it's repetitive i know a lot of people already feel like my vlogs are repetitive but that's basically my life guys i can't live for actually going out so that i can capture everything on camera for you guys and sometimes most of the times when i'm actually having fun and i'm out and about i don't usually vlog because it becomes so difficult to just have the camera in everyone's faces but yeah i'm here now hopefully we'll be able to carry this through until the end of the month um i don't know what i'm gonna do now but yeah let this vlog begin Wait, 
the road But I get to the bag on the low I be kind of sex while they grow Yeah, you know me Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely I got something for you when we get home If you let me put it down When I come in town, you should lie on me Keep your minds on me On try, baby, I think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good, good. Know it's all love. Know it's all love. Don't prove me wrong, prove you right. Don't. being attacked by a bat in the house imagine there's a bat that got in last night um in the main area and we were all terrified to be honest and we literally stood outside for so long trying to get that thing out of the house and Kwezi was sleeping on the couch and kumo had also passed out on the couch and i was about to come to bed and then their grandmother was like hey there's a bat in here and when i went that side it was literally flying around like we even went to bed without knowing what happened to that bed and i wanted to actually vlog last night but i was like you know what i'm not gonna do this um this bed must just go out so we can sleep i am due for a wax excuse my crusty underarms i'm due for a wax and today i am unplatting these braids i know it hasn't been that long but you guys i'm not happy about them they tangling and the lady at the salon made a mistake here so these two here are bigger than the other parts you know i'm i was just not happy with these braids but yeah i'm gonna take them out i just sprayed them with some um, leave-in conditioner so that when I actually unbraid it, it doesn't like pull my natural hair out. I find that that works better rather than just taking out the braids when the hair is super dry. It comes out with my hair and yeah, and also the back has also been falling out, guys. I saw Tandigama was sharing her vitamin D deficiency journey. Is it deficiency? I don't remember. So I'm starting to feel like maybe, or maybe it's in my head, I'm starting to feel like I need to go get tested because my hair is literally falling out. Like, before I even did my braids, there was such a chunk of hair falling out every time I comb it. So I'm just gonna go to my GP and just ask him to literally check if my vitamin D levels are good. I wanted to share this with you guys last night, but I couldn't because of that bad. And yeah, I just got so demotivated to actually do this because I wasn't happy anymore. Like... I'm scared of anything that flies literally from butterflies well not flies and bees well i am scared of bees but you know the stuff that i've got wings like huge wings i'm really scared of fun fact so yeah uh, my day was just ruined my night was just ruined last night so i couldn't do that i bought a new fragrance it is the mfk gentle fluidity gold i was also influenced by you guys know i'm always influenced by the same person all the time especially when it comes to fragrances because the ones that I blind bought based on her views and her opinions, 
I actually enjoyed them. So now I just buy whatever I feel she's hyping up. So I saw this from Zizi Moloko and I thought I'm buying this. So I got it. it. It got delivered yesterday. It comes in, like it comes in an interesting box. Yeah, it's not like the body oil from MFK. This one is so different. And then it's got this gold. I sat on it last night, like when I was in bed. I didn't see it because we were just chilling in here because of that bed. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I think I'm going to put it on. This is the bottle. It looks luxurious. It looks expensive. Guys, let me know if you want me to do like a perfume collection kind of thing. But I'm going to categorize it like my top five favorites. Um, five fragrances that I'm not going to rebuy. Um, the most affordable, the most priciest, the most complimented. Just let me know, then I'll do that for you guys. But yeah, I got this one here. It smells really nice. I'm not good with notes, but I'll do my research if you guys literally want me to do that for you guys. But it smells amazing. So I thought I should just share it with you guys. Um, yeah. I'm going to go and plait this hair because now it's also pulling. It's really heavy. I wanted them smaller. She made them this size, but I'm not that mad, but I am mad. So I'm going to go take these out. I'm going to see you guys once I'm done. I'm not going to do that with you guys. Guys, I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do this Vlogtober thing because I literally did not vlog when I got back from doing my hair, but I've done it. I've done my hair. It looks good, but look at what the braids did to my hairline. I'm so mad but I'm um, not too mad because I know what fixes it. I use Mizani products especially for my hairline and it works wonders. I'm not going to come here and talk too much. I just wanted to update you guys that I've done my hair. It's a little while later. It's time to just wind down, get into bed, call it a day and start off another day tomorrow. I also want to just edit this vlog so I can get it up and ready for you guys tomorrow. I did change my dress because... After I fed Kumo her dinner, she just spit up all over my dress, so I had to wear this one. I guess I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Tell me you need me 
But I'm from a city that's high school. I give them the cinema, I go. Uh, Cause you a bad man, if she don't love money. She break ass real fast, I can't run. Wanna swim down to the deep end. Wanna know all my secrets, honestly. Can you keep it real? Cause honestly, I can tell that you're real fond of me. Baby, don't be shy. I can see it in your eyes. I've been running around. down today i don't know i think it's because i'm hungry so i'm gonna go and have something to eat i don't even know what to eat and then only will i see if my mood gets better but i do know that i'm feeling hungry actually i'm gonna have my ginger shots first and i also just want to go check on my garden because you guys remember i did plant some spinach it's still there many months later and i'm super proud of myself but there's always holes on the spinach so when i did some research it says that it's snails and slugs and we once found a snail before in the garden i think i also did vlog that once so i do think it is snails so the suggestion was to spray some coffee mixture like um ground coffee and water with some dishwashing soap and spray it so i told the guy who does our garden to do that for me so i'm gonna go have a look if the spinach is good and the mint was overcrowding the whole garden i remember you guys did tell me that mint actually does populate the garden it takes it takes over yeah, you guys told me that it does take over the garden which it has already started doing but i thought i'd control it by putting it in the pot into the ground but it has gone all over but i don't want to remove it there i might remove it and just get a like a big nice pot i saw some from mr price but i think for now i asked him to just you know cut it and make it look nice and small because it is summer we're going to use a lot of mint so i don't really mind and we do have some onions also growing so i just want to go so I just want to go and check up on my garden um, quickly and see how it's doing. I also just want to, just a moment. I also did book my wax for tomorrow. I think I'm going to close off this vlog today so that I can start a new one later on today because um, I am participating in Vlogtober. So of course I need to keep um, some stuff for the next vlog. I can't do everything now even though um, I do have the time but like I'll just keep it for the next vlog um okay yeah that's it another thing i also did buy a a table for that side remember i did have like these glass tables in between my two small couches but i did buy another table from superbalist influenced by google so i thought let me just um buy that to put it in between the tables because i don't like those glass tables i do like them but i feel like they could do better somewhere else so yeah i'm gonna go and unbox that with you guys it got here a couple of days ago i haven't unboxed it so i think i should just do it and get it over and done with and i also received a really exciting package i received an exciting package i was so nervous about this because it showed that it was delivered but i hadn't gotten it um that did went to post it but i'm gonna unbox this in the next vlog so please do stay tuned i think i'm gonna upload on friday if not on sunday we'll see um i'm sorry for doing this to you guys but of course 
we have to vlog like this is vlogtober don't worry you guys are not gonna wait too long you will see what's in there but for now i'm gonna unbox the table that side check on my garden and then i think i'm gonna close off the vlog but we'll see so yeah let's go outside so guys this is my mint it's growing really nicely but yeah it's overcrowding this whole place but it's growing really nicely and i don't know if you can see over there i've got onions and to my left i've got my spinach that's growing i think it's looking good i don't think those things whatever it is that was eating my spinach did eat it last night because it makes holes so quickly you could leave spinach like five to ten leaves looking good and then after and then the following night all of them have got um holes anyway we also did plant some coriander yesterday which came here looking raggedy when i got it from pick and pay um checkers that's the one over there but he did put it in there so i'm hoping soon it will be looking good and then we also do have an onion also sprouting from over there i don't know if you can see so yeah guys um that's what it's looking like i was also thinking i'm gonna raise the walls like i'm gonna make walls around this garden and then also raise everything just so it's a bit high up i think it's going to look much nicer that way and then this one here i didn't update you but we did do we did plant these december last year because i remember this because kumo was still young these are my hydrangeas they're also growing nicely um and then those are those i forgot what they're called they're growing in nicely over there but my other hydrangeas died so we had to pluck them out more of these plants i need to get another one that looks like that so we can fill it in in that space there so that it makes like a nice is it called a ledge i don't know what it's called in the head we've got that one we've got that one that never died the last time and then i've got roses which we don't know how to take care of um but yeah they, they're coming right we'll see i'll have to do my research on them palm trees are also growing nice and tall and then that's my other hydrangea let me go closer that's my other hydrangea i hope it's gonna come along nicely there are flowers that are coming out today that are blooming but the one on the other side is actually not looking good i'm gonna ask him to cut that off as well but yeah so far so good so what i basically want to do here in between the wall of the gym and that other wall that side is to add like a gate over there I think it's going to make it look nice like a wooden one that's going to match our front gate as well so yeah i'm going to do that as well i'm just going to try and find codes and then we're going to do that actually do get why some people don't like summer guys it is so hot and i'm feeling so unproductive like i literally don't want to do anything 
it's really bad anyway um i just wanted to come here and do a little haul of what i got remember in the last vlog i told you guys that i'm building my capsule wardrobe i'm not intentional like very intentional about it but when i do find something that i feel could be a staple in my wardrobe then i do get it so i got this let me just keep it on the hanger so i got this blazer when i was in durban with my mom the other day um it's like a tweed black and white comes off as gray with gold buttons blazer i love it so much it is a size small i took a small because i find that an extra small tightens my arms especially in winter when i'm layering with a blazer so small sort of like gives me a fit that i like so much this blazer was so expensive to be honest but i was like i can wear this for years to come and i saw this um lady on instagram was talking about price per wear and this when i do make those calculations i feel like i'm gonna wear it for long so it's actually cheaper to wear and like buying a blazer that is trendy or a blazer that's not good quality and then it only lasts you a year um it works out more expensive than if you buy something that is quality um i'll try if you guys are interested in me explaining that i can explain it in the next episode of what i meant by price per wear but this um blazer when it comes to price per wear it is it makes sense it makes sense so yeah this is a blazer that i got i think it was about 2600 rand if not 2400 rand but it was really expensive and i just got this white denim like dress it's just like a simple dress nothing much to it with the slit here actually i think let me fit these so i can show you what they look like on i actually looked at this dress once and i was like oh my god it looks so big um, I don't think it's going to fit me. It's a size small. I'm a size extra small. I've always been an extra small. And guess what? It is super tight. Maybe I should have gone for a medium. I never thought this would be me. This would be me saying that. I never thought in my life anything medium would fit me. But here we are. I don't know if I'm sad. I think I'm sad. I think I am sad. Let me show you what this dress looks like. I like it, but it fits so tight. Let me pan you guys down. I don't know, it's a bit too tight, but I feel like it could stretch a bit. So yeah, that is the dress. I could use a body shaper on the inside just so it cinches me. So yeah guys, um, that is the dress. I think that is all for this vlog actually. Oh, the blazer. The blazer, I'm just going to throw it on top because, yeah, I'm just going to throw it on top so I can show it to you. But this is what the blazer looks like. I've worn it already. As I did say, I'm going to pin you down. This is what the blazer looks like. I actually like this. I don't know about the dress, but I actually like the blazer. It's really nice. It's got no pockets. Or I think you can just like... Is it those pockets that you can tear? No, it's got no pockets, but it's got this little thing. And one thing about Zara blazers, they, they are really nice. They are tailored. They are tailored to the gods. Um... So yeah guys, oh my god, I look so formal. So yeah guys, those are the two items. I think we've reached the end of this um, episode of Vlogtober. Today is currently the 4th. I'm going to put this video up so that I can start with um, episode 4 to, I don't know what, but probably 4 to 7 or four to six so i guess i'm gonna catch you guys when i post the next one it should be really soon so please don't be mad at me i will be uploading it very soon it might not be tomorrow but i will be uploading it if you've watched until this far please drop some red hearts in the comment section so i can see that you've watched until the end please don't forget to like comment and subscribe also please 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 do watch the ads you guys um yeah i guess i guess we are done with this vlog i'm gonna wrap it up bye guys i'll see you in the next one